earliest memory in my life is this flying dream. And somehow there's these strange faceless beings beside me. I fly for a while, soar above this desert wasteland, and then become panicked and filled with anxiety, start dive bombing towards the ground, free falling. And right before I'm supposed to impact, I wake up. The dream recurred all my life, and whether consciously or subconsciously, it's formed who I am. I thought the dream was the premonition of my death, and I wanted to prove to myself that I could overpower it. And doing that, it's taken me from the most exposed places on Earth. Still staring down the dream of falling to my death. I throw this. <laughs> At 90 miles an hour or something, it goes more like that. But that's the only thing that pulls it out. Yeah, as a rock climber, I've trained my whole life to hang on and not let go. And then, miraculously, when I do I let go, this whole new world opens up. Now I'm trying to flow with the dream. Three, two, one. And instead of dying, I'm flying. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? Turn off the camera. No, thank you. How come you're pulling me over? Okay. I think you're harassing me. And then you're redneck. Are you redneck today? No, not at all, sir. Take your driver's license. Take it out. Jump in the spire. Wow, jump in the spire. Here we go. Three, two, one, see ya. Now I can click my brain and it's okay to fall and in fact I want to fly. <laughs> <laughs>